All right, we're back with another cup of papers. Let's see what we pull out this time. If I can open this. Nail foils. I'm having a hard time here. Glitter shards. And... The two stuck together. Wood grain. God, my handwriting's so bad I can't read it. All right, so nail foils, glitter shards, and wood grain. So I'm gonna see what I can come up with. All right, so we're gonna do a, uh, we're gonna do the shards, glitters, and a, um, oh my God, what the hell? And a wood grain on this guy. So I actually want to do like the shards, like a geode. So I'm going to try to like trace it out a little bit. Um, oh, just to give myself like a baseline and oh, my cup's a little tacky. I think I'm just going to kind of go, does this not want to write on here? Yes, Willow. I love you too. I'll go kind of like this. Just gonna kind of put like a little baseline here. I did a kiss. Maybe, like, so I have this I one. I this. thank you for my kiss, Willow. You're welcome. And then I'll do one like right here. And then I have a spot where my paint kind of came up. Okay, so I kind of want wood grain everywhere else, and then this like the geode. Um, I have no idea what I did with my pop points. Oops, that I usually do for my wood grains. So I made my own. Um, let me grab another glove. So I actually mixed yeah. <laughs> um, some different colors. Like I mixed rosewood and um, clover, some greens and some oranges and, and rosewood into a thing. I think I'm gonna actually add some gun metal to it too. I just wanna make sure this is not like an iridescent one. E678. Oh, Hold on, Willow. Six up there. Hold on. What's color are these? What color are these? This is just like a gray. Right, what's color are these? Right, we're gonna add just a hair of gunmetal because I feel like it might be too what's color reddish are brown. Three, six, seven, six. I normally seven, teak wood is like my favorite eight, color to use eight, for wood grains. Eight, seven, eight, eight, six. Um, it's too so high. I think gunmetal might be iridescent or metallic. Shit. Oh well. Oh yeah, it's a mixative. So we'll see how this goes. I probably shouldn't have added this, but um, you know, let's see how it goes. So I made my own color. Here's hoping for the best. If it doesn't work, I'll clean it off and I'll go back to searching for my other inks. So the way I do alcohol inks is I take my bottle. And I just do, whoops, oh shoot, that's really runny. And then I just grab my brush and I brush. Oh yeah, that is really red. We're gonna have to do something about that. That is very red. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's super red and it's super liquidy. So it needs to be more brown for red. sure. Yeah, honey, it needs to be more brown for sure. I need to clean it up because it went all over the place. It's definitely looking more brown. Like this. Okay. Mojito definitely made it look more brown, so I think we're gonna go with Mojito. And we're just gonna kinda, um, this bottle sprays out crazy. Okay, so the way I do my wood grains, this bottle is crazy, so I'm gonna have to do it a different way. I like to go in one direction with a chip brush, and usually I, I use the same brush over and over again, because I feel like it gets, you get a better result. Um, I like to drip my ink on my cup, but because of the way this bottle is working, I'm gonna probably have to do um, on my brush, but <laughs> let's go from this end because this end doesn't have anything it can get on. And I'm just gonna kind of, and then if you want it a little bit darker, if you blow on it, because you're pushing the ink until it dries. And that mojito Yay! definitely made it more brown. And I just kind of keep going. Um, I'm gonna actually put it on my brush because we're having 
an issue with messiness with this bottle being so big. And then like, I just keep going in one direction Miss. and building it up. And usually I use three different browns. Um, I don't know what I did with them. I, I use them for another project and now I can't find them. I use them at like Christmas time and I have a feeling I they're packed like in my Christmas stuff, which means I have to get it all out of the attic to find them. Um, Cause I actually use them to make, to stain some ornaments. But I didn't want to have to like go and get more stain. So you see, just kind of swipe it. Ew, look at that oh, dirty gosh. stuff. Yeah. And, when, and as you swipe, it looks like wood grain. And if you blow on it when it's still wet, it'll be softer. If you want it more coarse, you keep just pulling it through while it's wet and you're gonna get more drag lines. And if you blow on it, it'll get softer. Just pour in the brush. You stink from here. It stinks? Okay, well, and then I'll go from the opposite direction. So now I'm doing it like the opposite direction so that my wood starts to kind of cross, my greens start to cross into each other and overlap each other. And then it gives you like the edges of like knots and things like that. Okay, Willie. And so I'm gonna try to turn this toward the camera and do it this way. And then sometimes, um, if I was using more than one color, I would go and just do like different stripes all over in one color and then go in with my other color and just kind of keep blending them. But we only have one, so we're just going to kind of make it work by just overlapping them. In certain spots, it's going to take off the alcohol ink, but in certain spots, it's going to darken it. And that all just depends on like how, um, how much you like, I guess, brush, if that makes sense. So I like to brush and blow. Nope, I got one. What's our wheels? Okay, Willow. Huh, what's I with my style? That's not your style? Okay. No, what's my style, though? I don't know. Make me off it. You see how this is super dark now? If I want it to stay like that, I'll blow wait, on it wait, wait, and dry it. Off it. Help off. And it'll start to dry um, instead of moving it. And I can just kind of go like diagonals and give it more of that like diagonal look if that makes sense like now I'm going like a V and then push through the middle and then blow just to kind of help dry it. I don't really want See. the diagonal so I'm just going to go straight and pull my brush up so I get this like point I don't know if you can see it why don't you leave the door open Wills why just because. Okay. Thanks. And a lot other thing I like to do with my wood grains, which I do not do this Why time, is I actually prefer to spray them brown than um, white. Let huh? me actually go in with some more rosewood because now I think I've made huh? it too brown. Well, how are you leaving it door so we're gonna go open? up. How I'm just gonna move it all the way down so it gives me like okay. one big green. Nice. And I'm just pulling this like I pulled this up to a point and then I blew on it because I want it to be like a strong um, piece like as if there's like a part of the wood that looks just looks like that and I'm pulling down this way and making another one that goes the opposite direction here I don't know if you can see that um, yeah, So if you pull, the more, def, the more um, like defined you pull up and down, the, the more edge you're gonna have. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, you see how there's like a stronger edge here? And it's because I, I really concentrated on pulling up in the middle and pushing the extra ink out to the edges.
Okay, so now I have pretty much the areas that I want the wood grain wood grained. Um, do my bottom. I think I'm gonna do my bottom wood grain just to make it like easy. You're stooping. And alcohol ink dries pretty quick, which is nice. So I'm gonna let it dry. Let me this bottom all wood grained up. I always try to go like the same direction with the bottoms. I am gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with some sepia. That's a little less red than rosewood, I think, right? Let's try some sepia. Let's see what sepia looks like on this bad boy. We'll do the bottom. So I'm just gonna go in with some sepia because um, it's kind of like more of a, like I like I liked a little bit of the red brown, but it was too red with the rosewood. So I'm just kind of going in with a little bit of sepia to add a little bit more red into there. All right, so I think I got pretty much what I liked on the wood green. I'm gonna let it dry before I clean up everything just to make sure that um, Ooh, yeah. I don't stick my thumb in anything again. So I'm, it, it dries pretty fast. I'll probably give it like 20 minutes or so to dry. Um, and then I'll um, start working on my, applying my Okay, so we've let this dry. I went through with acetone and just cleaned all this up. And then I put white acrylic paint inside my Mod Podge just to make it a little bit easier. Um, and I probably should have something to catch my glitter. And I should probably make more room for my life, myself here. I'm a mess. Push everything to the side. I don't even know what glitters I'm using, but we will figure it out. Okay, I just know that I have to use some shredded glitter. So I think I'm gonna start with um, let's see. I want to use I want I think I want to use either shaved ice or Indra. Um, so I think I'm gonna start with my triangle, like my smallest part here. Take this off. I'm gonna do like a triangle of Mod Podge here. My brush is a little stiff, but that's okay. I hate working with Mod Podge. I feel like no matter how hard I try, I just can't get the hang of Mod Podge, which is probably why we all call it the devil's glue. Okay, so first triangle, done. And I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Forget Me Not, because it's so pretty. Just trying to stay out of the camera angle. And you can see it's gonna need a second coat, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And I'm trying to kind of match the shape that I wiped out. I think I'm gonna go with a um, horse glitter. I think I'm gonna go with Opal by Glitter Chimp as I drop my brush. Um, and then I'm gonna just put my Mod Podge on top of my last one. This one's gonna be a little bit smaller. Do the same thing on this side. going to be much thinner than the first color. Okay. And then this part of this 
bad boy on. Or I stuck my Mod Podge fingers on it, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm gonna brush a little bit off. I don't want it. Okay. I don't know where your sister went, baby. Now um, I want to do like a super dark, um, uh, fine glitter. I'm gonna go with Seize the Day. Do I want Seize the Day or do I want? Um, there's a really pretty no name glitter. Hmm. I don't know. Let me do my, I'm going to do a really thin line of this one. So I'm using a really thin brush. Let's see. Hmm. Do I want to do this one? Or do I want to do this one? I think I'm going to go super dark. And I want to try to get it just on my Mod Podge and not really in my other one because that's a chunky. Oh, shit, I got in there. Well, it is what it is. If we don't like it, we're doing a second coat. And then... And there we go. And I'm just gonna, I don't even care at this point because we're putting a second coat on. If it gets in there, it gets in there because, you know. Let's go ahead and do our shards. So I'm gonna do a thicker, um, Mod Podge to help hold it. No touching. Let's do Shaved Ice by the Glitter Chimp. No. No? No. Okay. No, Mama. Hold on, I gotta open it. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no? Okay. Uh, All right. What are you doing? I'm opening it because I haven't used this one yet. So I had to open it. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on. Hands. Yeah. That's funny. And my 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 Mod Podge started to dry on me. Let's see if we can put a little bit more on there. Here, Mom. It's okay, Willow. Stay where you're at, baby. Point is missing. Why, this okay, Willow. Okay, now let's do our other side. I don't know why my brushes are so stiff. Cleaned, but I guess they're not as clean as I thought they were. Okay. Now we're gonna do beach foam, and I'm gonna do beach foam kind of big. I'm gonna do, it's gonna come from like where this is ending, and then it's gonna get wide. Oops, as, it, as my stuff all falls. Okay. Beach foam is definitely going to have to have the beach foam might need three coats because it's super, super light. Okay. So let's do this side. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go
All right, so now we're gonna go back through and do um, our colors again. I'm literally just pushing it into my glitter because I don't wanna like move anything. So I'm pushing it into my glitter. And this helps seal the first layer and then Watch. let you do the second layer. Go. <laughs> I don't think my opal is going to need a second coat because that glitter is so thick. <gasps> so let's put more on here. <laughs> What's that name? So now there's our second coat of Forget Me Not. Let's do the What's same thing over here. Me? Oh my God, you know what? I totally forgot I wanted to use this. We're gonna go where we put our opal and we are going to use this Broadway. Supposedly, these glitters are like super opaque and you only need one layer. So we're gonna actually put the Broadway where we put the opal and see how it looks. Cause I forgot about that. I wanted a gold in here to go with the gold lines. All right, let's see how this Broadway looks because I have not had the best of luck with um, these peachy olive glitters. I know everybody loves them. I know it's like a super unpopular opinion, but I just, I don't know. I don't, they, I don't always like the way they look. I just don't think they look that great. <laughs> so I bought a bunch of them. <laughs> I need better golds. It'll work, but I have better golds for the price. Eh. That's how I feel about it. And I know people are going to come for me. Um, I tried. I bought a few of the palettes. Some of the palettes were absolutely hideous. And um, I was like, wow, I can't believe I. Uh, this is what they send people. Um, I tried a few of the palettes. And then I tried to order, like, single things that people really like. And I just have not been impressed. Um, I actually just recently canceled my glitter chimp monthly subscription just because of the fact that like I um, just don't have any more room for glitter and that um, it's bi-monthly actually that subscription is worth every penny um, it's amazing and um, it's just it's amazing and glitter fetish has one too but um, I always forget to sign up for it because I'm a mess but I have not I was not a fan of the peachy olives and I have a friend that absolutely loves them and raves about them. And I just, I, I don't know. I can't drink the Kool-Aid, I guess. And not that there's anything wrong with them. Everybody has their own preferences. I, or I will give any glitter company a chance. I've ordered from tons of them. But their stuff just doesn't impress. I just don't think it looks as good under epoxy. Um, I bought, I have it, what is it, Athena or whatever, the one that everyone raves about for beach tumblers. And I thought it looked cheap under epoxy and I was super disappointed so um I don't know maybe it's user error but I know a lot of people really love them so I wanted to give them a shot so we'll use this one here because when this came in one of my palettes I was like why is there blue <sighs> mixed in with gold glitter <sighs> and <sighs> I figured this is probably the only time I'm going to use blue gl gold glitter that's mixed together so we'll use it not Where I stuck my finger because I don't want to like tap into the glitter. So what I'll do is I'll let it all dry. I'm going to, um, after it's dried for like at least an hour, I'm going to take a brush and lightly brush whatever excess I can off. And then... Um, I'll go in and fix that with, um, the same chip brush and the alcohol ink I made. I'll just go in and kind of blend it in and fix it. 
And then um, after this is sat overnight, when I um, am child free, I will put the first layer of epoxy on it. All right, so I let this dry overnight. Um, I went after this, this all dried for like, I don't know, like an hour or so, I went over and sponged Mod Podge on top of it to seal everything in so nothing moves when I go to epoxy. And then I went ahead and let it dry overnight. So I'm actually gonna use my nail foils now. These, the process that I'm using for this, you could actually use with like regular foil as well. Um, I'm gonna use, tack it over and over. And um, I just had my tacket brush. And I use, and I'm gonna use a heat gun. Okay, so I'm gonna take my tacket. Okay, well, and I'm going to, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna just kind of brush my tacket on Whoa. in certain areas. And just like I do with whenever I do tack it, um, I'm going to do two coats. I have to kind of remember where I did it, which is going to be fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, All right, so I put it in a couple different places. That one's probably a little big, but that's okay. Hit it with my heat gun to dry it. Now I'm going to go over it again. And I can kind of see it where it is on the wood grain. So that's good. So we're going to do a second coat. Okay, so now that it's dry and it's sticky and it has two coats, I'm going to take my foil and I'm just going to kind of put it on. I'm going to rub it. Ooh, rub it on. So and my, my cup is warm from the packet. And you see it put that on there. No, this one had like where it was missing on the top. Let's see if I can fix that. I don't know if I can. Um, that's sucky, but whatever. So let's go ahead and do like right here. I'm just going to rub it and lift. You see it puts like some shine in there. And do some, where are you? You're sticky somewhere lift and then whatever I have left on this will go like right here and lift and it gives it like a little distressed shiny look which is kind of cool so I'm not crazy about that where the, the color had come off I think I'm gonna put a tiny bit more tag and see if I can fix it as Willow destroys things if I can fix that part. Mama. What, baby? Mama. Yeah. Oh. And then I think I'm going to throw some actual gold in here. So I'm going to put a couple more stripes in randomly for some gold. Oh, I have a piece that's sticky right there that I didn't even do. Okay. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to dry, there's a piece here where apparently I put somebody didn't do anything on it. So let's throw, do I have anything left on this one? Let's just try to do like this edge right here. Rip it up. Now let me put some of my second coats, oops. So right here where this like brown, where there, there was nothing on the foil, like the, part of the foil that was rubbed off. I'm gonna look for something that has like the most amount of brown on it and try to put that on top of there. Give it a good rub and see what I can get off on there so that it kind of covers it. So now let's do our gold. So I'm literally just putting it on top of my um, tacket and just giving it a rub and then ripping it off. You see the gold, you can see a lot better. So let's do this part right here. You see that? Oop, that right there. And I know I did another one like right here. Let's put this right here. And you can see like as I rub it down, it sticks and then you rip it off. 
and I think I did another right. Let's do this one right here. All right, so now we have some um, like distressed foils on there. So there we go. So I don't know if you guys can see. The darker one is a little harder to see on camera. So once this is done, I'll put it in, in the sun. Um, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to, once um, I don't have willow, I'm gonna take this and put it under um, a, a epoxy. I'm gonna do one coat, wait two hours, and then do a second coat. Wait, what? Okay, so this cup has two layers of epoxy on it. And uh, I sanded it just to smooth it out a little bit where there was a little bit of glitter that was still raised. So now that I have my epoxy on, I just want to also show you, this is that um, peachy olive that was like gold and blue and under epoxy it turned silver. Like I don't get it. Um, I just haven't had good luck <laughs> with that epoxy. So now I, I, if I wanted to draw lines around my colors, you can use a paint pen, which is what I'm using. Um, and paint pens come where they're oil-based or water-based. Um, I don't know which one this one is. I think this one is the water-based one, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm kind of annoyed because I wanted everything to have like golds and now it looks silver in that one, which it is what it is, whatever. So you're just gonna kind of go around. I have a thicker one that is oil-based. I might actually end up using that one instead. I use my oil-based ones when I write on like acrylic for like signs and stuff. Um, so I'm not sure how it's gonna do on this after you epoxy, but I guess I could find out. And I'm just gonna kind of like roughly draw it and where it kind of points up here, put it a little, a little thicker. Just to kind of help it look more like the rocky kind of lines. And then I'm just going to kind of go. All right, so now we've outlined our geodes. Um, now is like when you'd wanna clean up anything that you don't like or make your lines thicker um, or anything like that. All right, so it's all it's all outlined. Um, anything else I'd wanna do to it, I would do to it now. Um, clean it all off. There's like some glitter that's stuck to it from it sitting here. But now I would let that pen dry for a little bit. They dry relatively quickly. Um, and then I'm going to epoxy. If you're using one that you know for a fact is oil-based, you may want to just try to um, do a couple of um, quick shots of like a clear spray paint just to make sure that it's not going to repel the epoxy. Um, this one I know works under epoxy because I've used it before. That's why I don't think it's oil-based. And then once you're ready, you can epoxy it. Um, also now you could also do more like foils and stuff if you wanted to. I was looking for my gold leafing medium, like, but I don't know where it's at. Um, but like gold leafing, I'm probably gonna put a little bit of that on here. And I'm gonna have to use tack it because I don't know where my gold leaf medium is, so. Let's get 
smaller brush. Attack it. And like places that you might see where like you have like a boo-boo in your wood grain, like right here. So like I have a little part of my wood grain I'm not crazy about. I'm just gonna brush out my tacket. And this part right here where we tried to fix it yet yeah, um yesterday. So to put a little bit right there. Spread it out really well. We'll just do a little bit like right here. Put a little bit like over here. Still like there's an empty space right there. Okay. Let's try this pretty quick. We're gonna put second coat. Just gonna spread it. Luckily, I can see most of it. Okay. I think I put some somewhere over here. I'm feeling for the tackiness. Right there. Okay. So so now let's put a little bit of gold leafing on this. So this gold leaf, it's a little bit different consistency. So you can just put it on and you rub it. And you can just put it on wherever you want it. And then just have a paper towel down so you can collect what you don't use. So I'm just gonna kinda put it on like this. Let it stick, pull off what I want, what I don't need. Flip over to another section, stick it on. Wherever you feel it, put whatever you have left in your, back in your little container. Gold leaf is a little bit messy, I'm not gonna lie. And so now, there's paper down. Now I'm going to literally just rub it in. I like gold leaf medium better because I feel like it gives you more of like a distressed look. But if it's still too much and it has like too much thickness to it, take like a really light green paper like this is like 2200 and just kind of go over it and it'll soften it and give it a little bit more of a distressed look but this is like legit this is like literally like 2200 grit sandpaper it's very fine but you see so now we just have some more color in there some more gold mixed with our other ones if it's too rough for your taste just scuff it up and then it gives it like a nice little effect. So now I'm going to, once my husband is able to take my kids, I'll put two more coats of epoxy on this. And this okay, um, this bad boy is pretty much done. I put two coats of epoxy on a few hours apart, I think like four hours apart. So um, now it's done. It's very cool. Um, if I was going to put a name on it or whatever, I, I could put a name on it now. Um, it's gonna probably just sit on my shelf and hang out because that's what happens to most of the stuff that I do for tutorials. So yeah, so this one's done. Um, it was a fun little project to see what I could come up with. And I think this is number three in the series. I'm doing like two a week. So this is a three or four, I think. So but yeah, there's our shards, wood green and nail foils tumbler.